Alrighty, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful Rideshare Revolutionaries. It's me, Gio, the leader of the Rideshare Revolution, the Rideshare Rockstar, and the captain of the 2K Club, and the realest, the funniest, handsomest, and the beardedest driver on YouTube. And uh, we got a treat for you all today. I am currently on the phone with a revolutionary right now. He's a driver in Chicago. And this morning, he got the craziest lift streak you will ever see. And, uh, and uh, yeah, this is a really interesting story, and I really can't wait to share with all of you. So, uh, everyone, please say hi to Otto. He's currently on speakerphone right now. Uh, Otto, say hi. Tell us what's up. Yo, yo, what up? Uh, what I, up everybody? I hope you oh, guys everybody. can hear that well. <laughs> All right, so uh, give us a quick breakdown of this of this huge streak you got last night. Like, what would you say it's worth? It's probably it's probably gonna be a substantial amount of earnings, right? It's priceless. Yeah, definitely yeah. priceless. So it started out uh, about three o'clock is when I picked this one up, and uh, the small bar, Wrigleyville, right across the street. We're going to a little village. And uh, she comes out, I waited for her for like uh, just a few minutes. She ran across the street, comes in, I hold her. So then I jump on expressway, on 90, headed to 55 South, and I must have uh, caught on that accident from 55 South, because uh, when she got out, I went back there, and she had pooped all over the back seat of my car. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now hold on one second there, Otto. I'm gonna pull up the screenshots really quick. Uh, this is the. What is? It? Oh, did I not take the other one? Oh crap! All right, there it is. That's the. I'm looking at the first picture you you, you showed here. This was about what 3:30 this morning, right? Uh, yeah. On your cloth interior. Now. What made you think this was poop? Are you sure this wasn't just like a couple of Hershey's kisses that were smeared on the seat? You know? <laughs> you know, at first I thought, I thought it worked because I couldn't smell nothing. And I keep my window cracked. The whole thing was like, with the AC on. And it was nice all the way. It was nice. Oh, it's gorgeous out. Gorgeous out. Well, I was one because of the expressway. You know, so I had them cracked and. She had her window cracked, so I didn't smell anything. <laughs> and then I really didn't notice it until I picked up the nice passengers oh. on the midway. And they were going to Honeymoon to see Harry Potter World. <laughs> and uh, I got out just to help with my luggage, and when the light came up, the back and I seen it. And I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my I god. Just, I just got out of my car, and I was like, don't sit on the side. And even Dude, this is definitely the dark side of email. Like, you, this is like now. If the pastor asks you what's your craziest story, without a doubt, you're gonna be able to tell them. Like, well, this one time, this one pastor took a shit on my back seat. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so what's the what's the thing? Have you gone to see like who can get this cleaned up already, or? 
house since like 10 30 last night yeah no i know and that life yeah it kind of messed up my whole morning i was planning on just hitting the, hitting the bed but uh i'm gonna get up and go to my car wash see what they have to say i'm gonna have to end up have it professionally clean, like really good. I'm, I'm oh, really I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in on this. This is, oh, this is graphic. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's bad. And I really, you know, oh. she wants to, she wants to leak out of the mini skirt. Oh. And then she needs to, like, roll down the window and, like, cover it. And just, I don't know, because it's, like, really smeared in there really good. And, uh, it's bad. It's really bad. Man, you've definitely uh, you've seen some shit now out there. You, and uh, go ahead and tell them that one your third day of driving. Go ahead and tell them that story. You know, here's the thing: a lot of drivers, we all have fucked up stories like this. But like some people, like me, I feel like even after ten thousand rides, I don't have anything close to these kinds of stories. So uh, go ahead and tell them what happened to you on your third day of driving while while we got their attention. Third day of driving, I pull away from my house, I pull the convenience store, and I grab a, a Red Bull. And I'm just sitting in the parking lot, I turn on the app, and I get a ping like three or four blocks away. And it's out of like Montrose, like Montrose, Milwaukee mm -hmm. area. And uh, it's a body shop. And I, you know, it's kind of like a lot of traffic, so I pulled into the nearest spot, which was like, and I was like a newbie, it was like, it was really like 40 feet away from the kid. And uh, I see him standing there, and then he turns to me, and he starts hopping on one foot. And I'm like, is this kid skipping? You know what's going on? And then, I, and then I finally see his ankle, and his ankle, the bottom of his boot, is completely upside down and facing the sky. And he jumps in my car, and he's like huffing and puffing. And uh, he was a tough kid. He wasn't crying, but... Uh, I'd be crying like and, fucking crazy if that was... Oh, my God. You know, I was a skateboarder. I seen, I seen all my friends twist ankles, break ankles. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. It made me sick, and I'm not really that squeamish of a person. But so he jumped in, and it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. There's traffic everywhere, and uh, so I cut. It's my neighborhood. I live like right there. I cut through the just through the neighborhood, pop on Lawrence, and it's he wants to go to Swedish. So, uh, Lawrence is packed. I had a couple through another neighborhood. Finally, I actually got him there like 20 minutes. And, um, uh, but he had like three days later, he sent me a tip for $10. And I figured he was in the hospital that long because it was bad. It had, it mm -hmm. had to be certain, uh, fixed. But he did say that, uh, what happened was he was taking out the garbage, flipped on the gravel. And a UPS truck was flying down the alley, and when he fell, it ran over his foot. Dude, that dude better suit UPS. Fuck. And they better he settle that, that quick. He said that the UPS driver jumped out, said he didn't do it, and took off. Oh, wow. And when I was coming through the neighborhood, he seen the UPS truck, and he wanted to, like, stop and, like, confront the guy, like, we are just a single or two. And then he was like, you know what, let's just go. And, uh, that is fucked up. It was an intense uh, 15 minute ride, 20 minute ride, for sure. On your third day, I've never had nothing. I've had a couple ER runs, yeah, but nothing like that. Uh, but yeah, man, that's that's crazy, man. The, the stories we, we have out here, that's... It's fucking crazy. This is definitely the dark side of ride share. Like, on top of that, how was your weekend, though, besides that? Profitable? It was good, yeah. I mean, actually, last night, it was You hear that? You got free free driving advice too in this video. You hear that? Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, I did, uh, believe it or not, you think the ankle thing could get crazier. Well, last week, uh, 
week I picked up an ass girl for the from the train station. Oh, her. that's right. I forgot you told us about that. <laughs> yeah, so eight years ago, I was still like a young kid back then, but uh, it was cool. It's been a lot of time. It was, it was, it was slightly awkward, but uh, it wasn't that bad. She didn't, they didn't give me a bad rating or anything like that. They didn't tip me, but I don't want to... I would have so. Yeah. So, so just just to clarify, uh, the girl that left that message in your back seat, this was a girl, by the way, right? Y'all got you girls have to learn to wipe your ass better. Uh, so, was that a five star ride, a one star? <laughs> oh, it's uh, a one star, and uh, yeah, I I guess. Yeah, yeah, no, you definitely, you definitely earned more than just the, the bare minimum in this one, but that's that's uh that's a bunch of shit right there, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's all I want to go over. A crazy story in Chicago. You can't make this shit up. Uh, I want to thank you for telling the story. I, I didn't. I only showed the screenshots for a little bit just because they're so gross. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna wrap up this interview right now, and I'm gonna close out. I want to thank you for sharing your video, everyone. Thank uh, thank our buddy Otto here, and um, yeah. So uh, say say goodbye, or you know, say, go go ahead. Well, have a good one. I'll see you on the chat, and. Uh... There you go. Another another beautiful revolutionary in Chicago. All right, thank you, man. I'll talk to you later. Cool. Talk to you later. Bye bye. <laughs> what a crazy ass story. <laughs> Some real shit going on in Chicago these days. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm a child. I love shit jokes. All right, guys, uh, I want to thank y'all for watching. Everyone, please stay stay driven, stay classy, stay bearded, and uh, double-check your back seats sometimes. You might see a, a not-so-welcome surprise. Uh, I'll definitely talk to you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>